for me, but a very pleasant one. Okay, that's a good way to start the life lessons from Sachin Tendulkar. But are cricketers born or are they trained? Was Sachin Tendulkar, do you think, born to play this game? Or do you think you were trained and it's those years of, of training that made you the cricketer that you are? Was it a God-given talent that you always had? I think we have to train. Nothing comes uh, easily. And uh, I remember when I was maybe six-year-old, five, six-year-old, holding a cricket bat and swinging the bat without thinking much about the technique. It was all about enjoyment. But then a serious chapter started in my life uh, at the age of 11. My brother took me to Achrekar, sir. And that beautiful journey of playing cricket for India started there. I had to work hard. All, all successful people, they, they all have worked hard. Nothing comes easily. But I, I also believe that from a good player, you can become a very good player. You know, but that, that third level, which is sitting right at the top, where only those brilliant players sit, that I would say it is God's gift. But from a good player, you can work hard, spend those uh, thousands and thousands of hours on the field or working on your game, on, on the, the way you approach the game, the way you think, the way you plan, all those kind of things. You can plan and you can execute them, but you can become a very good player. To become a brilliant player, it is God's gift. I mean, how do you... There are so many tennis players around, just to give you an example. Now, how many play like Roger Federer? There are not many. I mean, Roger Federer is something really, really special. And... Is he your uh, favorite sportsman outside cricket? Without any doubt. I think I'm, I'm a big tennis fan. And when it comes to cricket, uh, I might as well give my example. If I feel for four hours, I'll never feel like John T. Rhodes. John T. Rhodes is special, and that is God's gift. He's the best fielder I've seen. And, uh, you know, the, he would put doubts in your mind. Even if there was an easy single and you saw John T.'s face, he would say, no, I better run hard because you never know. And that fear he was able to put in your mind. But this God's gift point, this God's gift point, because I remember seeing you as an 11-year-old, and honest to God, you hit the ball harder than all of us who are 18 and 19. I remember you coming with your brother to the ground and we said, this kid seems to hit the ball harder than us. Now, someone up there had decided, we all trained. Is, we couldn't hit is, the ball outside also the that, and, and I feel with those brilliant players, probably you are always a step ahead of the opposition when, when people said that, you know, you, you get more time to bat or Roger Federer plays those amazing shots. Like, because he's already anticipating what possibly the other good players are not able to do. And I don't know what technique he uses or whatever, but it has to be God's gift. No, because we thought that there was something that you had for breakfast as a six-year-old that made you hit the ball so hard. But you obviously, you just had a skill. You know, it, it, it comes to some, and you're right, you are a legend like Federer is. And I've just wondered, and you put it well, that if you have to make that last leap to greatness, is, there, is that just about 